hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so bd artbox sent me their x code tips to try out and i was really excited to try this out because who doesn't love easy french nails french nails are so difficult to do and so time consuming so when i saw this i knew i wanted to try this out just to see how it works so i'm just going to be doing the unboxing so that you all can see all of the items that they sent so the first thing here is some instructions next i got a 100 180 grit hand file and i really like this color hand file the color of a hand file really matters because the black ones usually flake all over the place and that's so annoying so i really like that color next we have this box right here this is the french kit protection duo so these two gels are very important because these are what makes the nails last on your nails so anyway we get some instructions there were about three or four instructions in this small kit so that's a good thing so yeah i'm showing you guys the two gels the duo that you would need this is the builder gel and the top coat so you apply the builder gel first because you see number one and you apply the top coat second and in the same box that came with the protection duo is a uv led nail lamp this is a six watts nail lamp so it's not that strong but it is strong enough to adhere the tips but i really didn't like how the nail lamp was because i don't like these types of nail lamps where you have to push your finger inside of it like that there isn't enough room in my opinion so i really didn't like it much but it was good it did the job it's just a bit difficult to use and i also got the usb cable next in this very small box we get the gel glue this is another important gel that is needed and it is a four in one gel glue i'm not sure of what are the four functions that they are talking about because i only saw three on the instructions so yes this is the instructions right here very detailed so this is the third instructions that y'all are seeing right here so the four functions is nail glue base coat slip solution etc what is etc we need the fourth one you know and last but certainly not least the x coat tips three in one soft gel system this was the first time i am using something like this i have done press on nails before and the gel x system to an extent but i don't think i have ever used anything like this although all of them are basically the same but you know i didn't think i ever i don't think i used anything like this the x coat tips system or however they say so i had to read the instructions to really understand what i needed to do and i didn't even look at any videos concerning this as well because i wanted to get it from a newbie's point of view you know so that's why i intentionally didn't watch anyone doing this system but i knew about press on nails so how different could they be so anyway i'm just doing my nail prep i push back my cuticles i use my cuticle bit around the cuticle area just to push back the cuticles even more and i cut around the cuticle area just to cut off the dead skin from that area because that reduces the lifting of the nails and right here i am buffing the surface of the nails with my 100 180 grit hand file so i am going to be sizing out all of the nail tips that i'm going to be using and you get a lot of nail tips like a lot a lot these nail tips look really good really professional i love a good french I could draw on my own French nails, but it's so time consuming. I don't like drawing on French nails. So to make it so easy and you know, French nails are exquisite. They are elegant type of nails, you know, for any occasion you can use French nails. So that's one thing that is top tier. French nails, everyone loves French nails, you know. So the fact that you can get easy French nails within 30 minutes i think it took 
less than 30 minutes to do these nails but i was doing other things while doing the nails too so that probably made it a little longer but 30 minutes for the most i took to do my nails and do you guys see the result it's amazing so anyway i just picked out my sizes and i really liked how they had all of the nail tips connected to one thing and you just have to twist it to pull out the nail tips i don't know some of that was just so cool you know just finding your sizes and just picking it out yeah so cool so i made sure to file the tips of the nails where i removed it from because it left a little thing on top of it so i made sure to file that off Now I'm just going to be hooking up my nail lamp and the USB cord was long enough, I like that. And I'm just practicing how I'm going to be placing my finger into the lamp. You always have to practice that so that when it's time you know what you're doing. Because you know you could get really confused when you don't practice. And you just apply the nail tip to your nail and then you don't know how to place it in the lamp that has happened to me a lot of times when I started doing gel X nails and stuff so I did decide that I am going to be curing my gel glue so I'm applying the gel glue to all of my nails right here and I would cure in the 6 watts lamp for 60 seconds I apply a thin layer of the gel glue to all of my nails this gel glue is thick so you have to make sure that you wipe the brush on the opening so that you don't apply too much of the gel glue to your nail to flood the cuticles or anything like that so as they said this is a four in one gel glue i would like to know what the fourth use is they said a gel glue a top coat a safe solution so what is the fourth one you know <laughs> So yeah, when I'm finished applying the gel glue, I would cure that in the 6 watts nail lamp for 60 seconds. So let's start the nails so i apply a layer of the gel glue inside of the nail tip then i just place it on my nail i place it at a 45 degree angle and then held it down so you have to make sure to place it at the cuticle area at a 45 degree angle and slowly push it into the nail and hold it and cure it for 60 seconds by the way i did apply sunscreen to my hands off camera i didn't show myself doing that and i also applied my peel off base coat to my nails off camera so i'm going to be doing that for all of the nails some of the nails i got some air bubbles in it i'm not gonna lie so i needed to apply a little more of the gel glue but this is my first time doing this so obviously i would get some air bubbles after practicing for a while i'm sure i would do a lot better so as you can see when i'm placing my finger inside of the lamp it's very difficult to get my both hands inside of the lamp because i just need that support in order to make sure that the nail tip doesn't move and i cure it bend or anything like that so that's what i do as you can see here how i'm holding it down two of my nails actually i'm supporting it at the bottom and then i hold it down with the index nail and the thumbnail all of that can't fit into that nail lamp i try my best but you know it was difficult so that is why i don't like using these nail lamps but it did the job 
and look at this guys so easy i got french dip nails in 10 minutes right now when i'm finished with the rest it would be 20 minutes could have been shorter as well because i said i was doing other stuff while doing my nails i think i was listening to the drama on tiktok so that's why it took 30 minutes these nails don't have to take that long it will take a shorter time to do these nails but i love it guys easiest french nails ever i love it you all need to buy this if you all are interested i will leave the link in the description below and my discount code for 10 percent off which is shirel 10 so i would leave the link and stuff in the description below So guys, when I'm finished with the nails, right, I wasn't sure if I could file on them, but I had to remove some base coat that seeped out at the cuticle area because, you know, I didn't do a good job at doing that, but I ended up filing around the cuticle area a bit. Make sure not to touch the nails because these nails, you can't really file, you can't file on them at all. You cannot so yes luckily i could have filed around the cuticle area and the nails still looked good so these are how all of the nails are looking and they look amazing guys so amazing so right here you would apply your builder gel and cure for 60 seconds and then your gel top coat and cure for 60 seconds however i'm going to be doing some nail art on these nails i'm going to be doing the cherry blossom nails because Technically, we are in spring, although spring is uh, a few weeks away. Let's say we are in spring, you know. So I'm going to be doing some cherry blossom nails. I'm going to be using this brown gel polish from Madame Glam. And I'm just going to be drawing some vines on the nails. So drawing these vines you have to be very careful how you're doing it because as you can see here i'm using acetone silly me thought you could use acetone on the nails you know just to make the vines a little crisp because they were looking a bit jaggedy so yeah <gasps> yes yes guys you heard that right um the acetone removed the white gel from the nail i honestly didn't think this true you know i don't know why i use acetone on the nails these nails are painted on so obviously the french is painted on the white is painted on or even airbrushed on so it would be easy to be removed with acetone but i wasn't thinking that far ahead so yes i went off camera and applied another nail tip so yeah this is another reason why it took so long because i had to apply my own peel of base coat again i had to apply the gel base coat again and then apply the nails so yeah that was another reason for it being this long so i'm just drawing the vines on all of the nails right here curing each of them for 60 seconds in my mini nail lamp my six watts nail lamp i made sure to use the nail lamp for all of the nails because i wanted to show you guys that you can use this nail lamp to do everything with these nails so that's why i wanted to use the nail lamp for everything and i cured each of them for 60 seconds i believe i said that before but just in case i didn't
now i'm going to be using the builder gel this is step one for the french protective duo very important step this keeps the nails strong and sturdy if you don't apply this the chances of your nails staying on is very thin because this makes it stronger by the way if you all want your nails to last longer you need to do proper nail prep and apply dehydrator and primer to your nails in order for the nails to last longer like 20 days a month even longer you need to apply those two things i will not be able to test the longevity of these nails right now because i do have an oint peel off base coat so if you all want me to test the longevity of these nails i would do it with shorter nails but let me know down in the comments below and if you've reached this find the video don't forget to hit the like button below comment your thoughts on the design and don't forget to subscribe and share the video so i cured this for 60 seconds in my 6 watt nail lamp now i'm going to be applying the gel top coat to the nails and curing that as well for 60 seconds but before curing the gel top coat on these nails i'm going to be doing the cherry blossom as i said before so i'm going to be applying some 3d flowers to these nails i'm going to be applying some white and some pink 3d flowers to these nails and i'm also going to be applying some 3d butterflies and then i would cure for 60 seconds now on to the middle nail i'm going to be doing the same thing so i'm just going to let this part play out so that you all can see make sure to cap the free edge of each of your nails this helps for the x coat tips to last longer as well if you don't cap the free edge of these nails the white polish on these nails would disappear within weeks so you need to cap the free edge just like you would cap the free edge when you're doing gel top coat on your nails this is basically the same thing so cap the free edge so yeah i'm curing this is how i cure the nails right now because i don't want it to move so i have to make sure to move the nail lamp to however i want to cure it you know what i mean so yeah i'm doing that i'm curing each of them for 60 seconds so i'm just gonna let this part play out and i'll be back shortly
and this is how the nails are looking and they look so good guys you need to get this bt art box x code system because my goodness to believe that you can get french nails in like 10 minutes that's not normal and they look good they look so good and you could you could just freestyle with it you know do anything you want to do with it look at these nails guys like this is just mind-blowing to me because i really like french nails but i don't like doing french nails i don't like building french nails with poly gel or even doing them with gel polishes so the fact that you can get it in like 10 minutes on your nails looking good as ever wow oh my goodness let me know what you guys think about it i would definitely purchase this i'm also thinking about purchasing some shorter nails for my mother and my aunt and stuff because you know they don't like long nails and these nails are not that long i thought it was going to be longer than this these nails are low-key short in my opinion i really thought they were going to be longer than this but i love them french nails are really so sophisticated i look bougie you know like bad and bougie anyway let me know what you guys think about these nails in the comments below if you're like, interested in purchasing anything from bt art box i would leave a link in the description below thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye guys